All right, guys, in our last section, we wrapped up with mounting our subwoofer. We're now going to move on to installing our amplifier as well as running all the wires for that. So this will be the final section for our speaker and uh, radio install. Now that we have our subwoofer mounted, we need to build a divider here in our uh, storage area under the seat in order to mount the amp that's going to power the subwoofer as well as the tower speakers. And I've got a perfect area here next to the batteries that we're going to use. It's just going to be tucked here underneath this shelf. And it's basically going to create a divider panel between the batteries and the rest of this cabin. So I'm just going to measure out how much we need. I'm going to leave a gap for to run some of the wires. So on this end, we need 18 inches. Top down, we need 13 inches. So we're gonna go cut ourselves a piece of 18 by 13 out of the marine plywood that we also used for the backing on the subwoofer. All right, so we're just gonna measure out 18 by 13 on this plywood and get it cut with the jigsaw. So we got our panel here. I ended up having to cut out a two inch chunk right here. I didn't realize this spot dipped down more than it did originally when I took my measurements. So this though just slides right into here and that's gonna sit like that. It will be bolted in here on the bottom with some elbow brackets as well as on the top here, there is fiberglass that sticks down um, from the support beam that I'll be drilling into and mounting this. All right, so I've got my board exactly where I want it. Now I cut some shims here just to keep it pressed up to the top while I drill my mounting holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and come in from the back side here and drill those in. Those are now drilled and we'll be able to mount this to our center divider here with those in place. Now that we got those holes drilled, we're gonna go ahead and use these two inch bolts and just mount them, uh, mount this up so that way uh, we can get our elbow mounts on next. <music> That is in there, it's not going anywhere. And that'll give us plenty of space to mount our amp as well as our fuse block. We're gonna start to kind of configure where we want those. Um, and then we'll start drilling some holes. We're gonna run wiring first before we fully mount anything though. All right, after taking a look at a couple different options, I decided I'm gonna mount my amp on this end over here. I can run all my wiring up through this gap that I cut. So I'm just gonna hold this in place and mark it with where I wanna drill through with a marker. All right, and those four holes marked. Now we just have to drill. Now we just have to tighten those down. All right, that is fully mounted. Now we can start running our wires and getting them cut to length and organizing that all on this panel. <laughs> 
also do the fuse block, but that's not going to be till a little bit later. Plus, it's pretty small, so it should be very easy install. All right, we got our carpet in, and I pulled out my plywood pieces from the boat. We're going to go ahead and get everything lined up, or get everything carpeted here. <laughs> piece fully carpeted and then this piece carpeted on the side that'll be exposed to the boat so we're gonna go ahead and go and install those now okay so we got to drill a half inch hole now on the side of our boat to get our wires run through so we can hook those up next um, our metal plate on the back side of the gunnel here does extend to about here so we're just gonna go right here put our cord through there and then put our uh, wire cover over the top of that um, all these wires are already in here, so we're just going to run the loom through. Um, I'm just going to use a center punch here. I want to run roughly to the center of this. All right, so we got our center punch done. Now we're going to go ahead with our drill. I've got a half inch bit on here. We're going to go in reverse first to get through that gel coat and then we'll go the rest of the way through forward. <laughs> Nice clean hole there. We'll take our bevel bit and bevel this hole out next to make it clean. Here's our countersink bit. We're just going to countersink that hole. <laughs> Perfect. Nice and clean. I'm just going to take a piece of tape here now and tape the end of our wire loom just to keep it so I can actually slide it through this hole without it bunching up. So you can see that's all clean there. Now we'll be able to put our plate on over this, silicone that down and screw it in. But we're not gonna do that quite yet. We're gonna go over to the other side and work on the wiring. So we're gonna strip back some of those wires, get them uh, hooked up with some pin connectors and run those wires to our amplifier and to the nav light. All right, so now that we have these ends terminated uh, coming through our wall here, we can go ahead and create the opposite side for that. So I've got my roll of speaker wire here. I'm going to just work on one end and then uh, leave it a little long because it's going to run down to our amp here from here. It's just going to run down from back in the wall over the top. So that way everything's clean and out of the way. So I know this is roughly the length of wire that I'm going to need for running down along my sidewall here. So I'm going to go ahead and just extend this out the same and cut it back.
Now we can go ahead and pin out this end as well. All right, so now we are just going to make sure we put our matching wires into each slot so that they connect up correctly. So looks like our copper wire is going into slot B. So put our male connector here into slot B and another one into A. And lock that down. And do the same for this side. Double check. Copper is also in B. Those are both locked in. Now we can go ahead and clip these together. That's a freaking one. And I can run these wires back behind here and pull them down and through. All right, so this wire's now come down. And what we'll end up doing is tying all this down together. But for now, I just want to get them roughly to the length we're going to use. And then we also have to run our subwoofer wire. We're going to start off here by running our RCA cables. We actually have three sets here. And one set is going to be running from our uh, head unit to this zone controller and then the zone controller splits off into two zones and so that's going to run for our tower speakers and then for our subwoofer so we'll have two volume controls for both of those that way our customer can evenly adjust it's going to be on a similar dash panel to this except we have a custom one uh, made that will be plopping right into this area so I've got a pull through wire already run here I'm just going to tape up our wires uh, to this, pull them through this dash panel, and then there's some grommets in our ski locker here that I will be running them through, and then securing them to other wires that are run through there, and that will run under our, into this area here, which I'll be able to then run up and tuck through and put on our amplifier over here. So, I'm not going to walk you through the steps exactly of uh, pulling this wire through. It's pretty simple, and it's going to differ for every single type of boat. But I'll give you an overview of the process.
now that we have our speaker wires coming from our tower speakers and our RCAs coming from our two channel volume control, we have to hook up our remote wire that's going to tell the amp to turn on as well as the subwoofer speaker wires. So for that we've got our blue remote wire here and then our red speaker wires. So we're just going to go ahead and run these in the same channel that we've run everything else. So we'll start by running it back behind. All right, and then we have our remote wire. And once we hook this remote wire up to the head unit and plug our speaker wire into our subwoofer, we'll actually be all done with the wiring for our amplifier here. And then all we have to do is hook up our blue C box and that'll be done when we hook up our ballast pumps. All right, so now that we've got our wires run up here, we're just going to go ahead and take them and run them along the wall and get them hooked up underneath um, the spotter seat. All right, so we have our remote amp turn on as well as our remote wire going to our amp. So we're just going to splice those together and get them connected in here. And then we'll hook up our subwoofer wires as well. So that remote wire is hooked up, so when we plug in our head unit, that will tell us, tell the amp to turn on. We're going to go ahead and do our speaker wire now. And I know which one's positive because one of these wires has right, uh, white writing on it, and it says positive on there. So we just plug that into the positive side. All right, so we got both those hooked up and we can plug them into our terminals now on the subwoofer. And when we're fully wrapped up with this, we'll get all this wire tucked away so that it's not in the way at all. We can go ahead and plug our head unit back in now and get all this wiring hooked up or turn it on and test everything out. All right, so we now have our head unit back installed in place. Uh, it is all plugged in in the back with the RCAs and everything. So when we come over here to our dash and turn into accessory mode, that is gonna turn on our head unit, which is also gonna send signal down here to our amplifier. And as you can hear, everything turned on. Um, with our volume control, we can turn on the main speakers. And then over here, it's not fully installed yet, but our dual zone volume controller then controls both the subwoofer volume as well as our tower speaker volume is working properly. So that wraps up everything for our sound system and subwoofer install. We now have everything hooked up, the tower speakers, everything's good to go. We are just gonna be tucking and cleaning up the wires. And all we have left is our gator step and our ballast pumps, and we will be finished up with this boat project.